Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. I uh, hope you are liking all my videos and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos with all your friends and family and tell them to subscribe if you like my videos. And today I'm going to show you a sweet recipe that is a halwa recipe which I'm going to make with uh, whole wheat uh, and it's very easy to make. Uh, it's a whole wheat uh, atta halwa recipe. Hope you like this and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make the atta halwa. Uh, for that I need um, one cup of ghee. I'm showing you the exact ratio for how much you have to use. And this is uh, one cup of atta and one cup of sugar. You need all equal quantities of uh, ghee, sugar and uh, atta. And you need to take two cups of water in this. And uh, first let me show how to make the sugar syrup for that. First I'm going to boil the water with the sugar in that. We have to just uh, melt the sugar, that's it. Uh, don't make it too thick syrup like that. We have to just uh, make it a boil and uh, melt the sugar. So now you can see the water is boiling and the sugar is also melted. You don't have sugar, full sugar is melted. Now in this stage, uh, we're gonna off the stove and uh, keep this aside. Now I have put in the pan the ghee. Now I'm gonna add the atta in this. And we have to keep on stirring continuously so that the lumps won't be there. You have to. You have to keep on stirring this uh, for at least 10 to 15 minutes because uh, till the color changes to light brown and the atta is fried well. See, now you can see uh, it is turning into dark brown color. Don't burn it too much, uh, then it won't be nice. Uh, the oil, the ghee is also coming out. It's leaving the ghee also. Now this is the time we have to add the sugar water in this and keep on stirring it. Don't think the water is too much, uh, it will absorb immediately everything. You have to keep on stirring. So now it became thick. You have to keep on stirring at least for another 5 to 10 minutes till it becomes a little hard or the water is absorbing and uh, the ghee comes out till that time you have to keep on stirring. See now you can see it's becoming thick. I'm adding some uh, cardamom, uh, crushed cardamom in this. This is optional if you want you can uh, add otherwise you can skip this. This is a very easy recipe and tasty also. See now, you can see it's getting dry. Just uh, fry for another 5 minutes. That's it. And you can garnish with some uh, nuts, fried nuts. When it start leaving the ghee, you can stop this. So now you can see this, the ghee is also coming out and uh, it's almost over. And I'm gonna put some, put some dry fruits in this. You can chop them and put also. Just mix it well.
that's it. Ata ke halwa is ready.